Hey, welcome back to Factions. I log into a gift in my base from one of my guys in the faction. He gave me lots of good stuff, lots of these heroics, and just, I don't know, lots of stuff. Pet egg, black scroll, XP, uh, cool stuff. Uh, shout out to you, man. Thank you so much. And then one of the things I actually got was a godly space chest. So I opened that up and got some gear bundles, depth strider book, and the gear I got was actually very good. So that was very helpful. And I also had a cosmic trophy in my PVs. And so I placed that down in my questing room. And then I went and did slash wild in the wilderness to get some wood chop levels up because I was kind of lacking in that department. I was about to fall off the top 100. And then with this reset ax that I also found in my PV, uh, it just tore trees up. It was super fun to do, so I was at that for a while. And meanwhile, I actually found a spider spawner in an unlooted dungeon, so that was awesome. I took that with my silk touch pick. My old fishing hut was not doing very well. I went to check on it. And then also my farm I had was kind of growing, and I'd also placed down all of those saplings that I had gotten from before by chopping down all those trees. Uh, team trees here. Look at how many trees I just planted. Oh my goodness. And then also I farmed. I did a lot of farming and I also realized that I was close to getting the ghost mastery kit. And so I killed some of my heroics that fit the description and I got a spooky, uh, two spooky gems and a grim reaper. And in my blaze room, my dedicated blaze room here, I decided to expand the roof so I could put the blaze spawners in there. I did this over a little bit of time and then I eventually got in some orange stained glass to put in there and I just worked on the spawner. I put down my first spawner and everything worked all right so I placed down all of those spawners I would gotten from just various things before. I think I totaled about 52 spawners which is really nice. And from the auctions I bought an Omni gem and I used that to upgrade my spooky kit to the top tier. This now met all the requirements for the Ghost Mastery kit. I only needed the gem now, so I'm on the look for that. I bought three blaze spawners for 200k a pop and then also put those in my blaze spawner room. And I was in the spending mood, so I bought a treasure chest and a cauldron and even a pile of coal. These would all generate me faction points and more importantly, be very cute to put in my little questing room here. And I had this Pepe Clapper from some guy before, and then I also had this Inquisitive Four Sword that I put the Pepe Clapper on, and then I titled this staff the Blaze Staff, and I was gonna use this to kill blazes. I threw a 13 weapon enchantment orb and then also another orb just to claim my quest here. And I just got to work. I love this new staff that I had made and I also took off all the enchants that I could uh, with my black scrolls just to clean it up, I guess. I don't really know my logic. So I put shackle three and I also put rage six on it. So it was a little bit better than when I found it. This new blaze staff was going to be my baby and I was gonna grind all the time with it if I really wanted to. I also decided I needed to finish up that chest room that I had built. So I made lots and lots of chests as well as trap chests and just put them on the walls, making it look all good and clean with some crafting tables in the floor and then item frames to label my chest room. And here we are, it looks pretty good. I'm pretty proud of it. And then I also could clear out my PVs a little bit. And that'll be my episode. I really appreciate all you guys who have been coming to my channel. The growth has been super big recently, so thank you.